a woman by the name of Margaret Sanger is the founder, the original founder of Planned Parenthood. I feel this is really important, ladies and gentlemen, to look at the history. I think it will shock you. I really do. Margaret Sanger was born in New York in 1879. She had uh, ten, chil- uh, 10 siblings. Her mother died after giving birth to uh, her 11th child, and so she grew up with her father, who was an atheist. Now, Margaret Sanger, ladies and gentlemen, uh, was a very, very radical human being. Very, very radical. I'm talking not not the kind of radical like Barack Obama is, where it's just kind of, you know, he talks like he's helping everybody, but is really radical on the inside. Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, was just openly radical. Openly talked about eugenics constantly, wrote about it, talked about how um, the main reason behind the founding of Planned Parenthood was for eugenics to control the population. This is all real stuff. Real stuff. She believed in eliminating all unfit members of society so that a superior race might evolve. Sanger believed that for the purpose of racial purification, couples should be uh, rewarded who chose sterilization. In the year 1922, she wrote a novel entitled The Pivot of Civilization. And in that novel, she called for the elimination of immigrants and the poor, or in her words, human weeds, reckless breeders, and the spawning human beings who never should have been born. In the book, she also called for the segregation of morons, misfits, and maladjusted, and for the sterilization of the genetically inferior races. So she's a radical, outspoken radical, uh, at one point in her life, she um, she believed heavily in socialism before finding her place in radical feminism. She believes in eugenics. She believes in creating a superior race. Uh, and again, ultimately created the concept of birth control and Planned Parenthood uh, for population control. Two of Sanger's slogans, things that she often said and wrote, were as follows. Quote, more children from the fit, less from the unfit. That is the chief aim of birth control. Quote, birth control to create a race of thoroughbreds. She referred to the sterilization of human beings as polite genocide. Polite genocide. And it just keeps coming, ladies and gentlemen. In the year 1939, she wrote a letter to a man named Clarence Gamble, who was the founder of the Pathfinders Fund. In this letter, She wrote of her plan to reduce the black population in the United States. She established and supervised what she called the Negro Project, which stated that blacks were reproducing at an an alarming rate. Her project proposal stated, quote, The mass of Negroes, particularly in the South, still breed carelessly and disastrously with the result that the increase among Negroes, even more than whites, is from that portion of the population 
least intelligent and fit, end quote. That was her project proposal for the Negro Project. Once again, the founder of Planned Parenthood. It gets worse. Hard to believe, but it gets worse. She wrote what she called the American Baby Code, which basically outlined Planned Parenthood's plan to rid the world of inferior human groups. Let me read you some of this baby, uh, American Baby Code by Margaret Sanger. These are her words. Article 1. The purpose of the American Baby Code shall be to provide for a better distribution of babies, to assist couples who wish to prevent overpopulation of offspring, and this to reduce the burden of charity and taxation for public relief and to protect society against the propagation and increase of the unfit. Article 2. Birth control clinics shall be permitted to function as services of government health departments or under the support of charity or as non-profit self-sustaining agencies subject to inspection and control by public authorities. Article 3. Listen to this. A marriage license shall in itself give husband and wife only the right to a common household and not the right to parenthood. So she believed in the government permitting people to be parents, having that authority over us, over we the people. If you wanted to be a parent, if you wanted to give birth to a child, you needed a permit. Or at least that's what uh, this woman wrote about. She outlines it right here in Article 5 of the American Baby Code. Quote, Permits for parenthood shall be issued by government authorities to married couples upon application, providing the parents are financially able to support the expected child, have the qualifications needed for proper rearing of a child, have no transmissible diseases, and on the woman's part, no indication that maternity is likely to result in death or permanent injury to health. Article 6, no permit for parenthood shall be valid for more than one birth. Again, she's all about population control and eugenics. Article 7, every county shall be assisted administratively by the states in their effort to maintain a direct ratio between county birth rate and its index of child welfare. When the county records show an unfavorable variation, from this ratio, the county shall be taxed by the state. The revenues obtained shall be expended by the state within the given county in giving financial support to birth control. And lastly, Article 8, feeble-minded persons, habitual uh, criminals, those affected with in inheritable diseases, and others found biologically unfit, should be sterilized or in cases of doubt should be isolated as to prevent the perpetuation of their afflictions by breeding. And that's the American Baby Code, ladies and gentlemen, written by Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood. This woman was a racist. This woman, like Hitler, believed in a superior race. Uh... This woman believed in eliminating those who she saw unfit for society. This woman believed in sterilizing and rewarding parents who sterilize uh, their children that are unfit for society. This is who she was. This is her true history. And the true history of Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs>